Hi, everybody. Welcome to Phil and Dave's Excellent Adventures. Just Dave here. Today, I'm talking about the movie The Bad Guys. This is going to be a spoiler review, so if you are concerned about spoilers, I suggest you go ahead and watch the movie first before you watch this review. Uh, the Bad Guys is a DreamWorks animated uh, crime comedy film. It's about a group of um, quintessentially bad guys like the Big Bad Wolf and uh, a piranha, a shark, a tarantula, and a snake as they um, try to become good guys, I suppose. So as far as what I liked about it, overall, I really liked the cast. Sam Rockwell is in the lead role, playing a sort of George Clooney-type character. thought he was great. I really liked Aquafina as the tarantula. Um, Craig Robinson as the shark. Uh, Zazie Beetz is in there as the uh, the mayor, Mayor Fox something or other, the fox. And uh, Richard Aote is in there as the, the bad guy guinea pig. And they were all great. Um, overall, I really liked the story in this. And uh, there's these sort of heist elements to the movie, so it's a... Very similar to, like, say, the Ocean's Eleven uh, series of films, uh, and I really like those kind of movies. And so, seeing a heist uh, in a you know cartoon is kind of interesting. Reminded me a little bit of the heist episode of Rick and Morty as well. Um, I like the animation style here. It is uh, you know different than um, than I guess you know what I've seen. Although it is not too dissimilar from um, Turning Red, which uh, Pixar put out earlier. One of the characters, at least the police chief, reminds me physically looks a lot like the characters in uh, Turning Red looked. Um, I really like the themes in this. Basically, you know, it's talking about uh, whether or not bad people can become good people. And I think that is, um, you know, the kind of idea, the kind of thought that really works as well for an adult movie as it does for a kid's movie. Um, overall, I like the humor in this movie. There is a lot of farts and, and butt jokes in the movie, and there's a lot of sort of scatological humor. But there's also some, like, really funny kind of sight gags that I really liked. Like, for example, there's a, there's a part where the snake gets arrested, and they put, like, cuffs for the handcuffs on the snake's neck, which is just a stupid, silly thing that I thought was really funny. And a lot of these just, like, weird kind of funny things they do, especially with the snake, um, that, I don't know, just clever little kind of, you know, background things that aren't exactly acknowledged, but that I thought were funny and clever. Um, overall, I really like the music in this movie. Um, it seemed like they did a lot of original music, which I, because I, I'd heard the Billie Eilish song in the trailer, I expected to hear it in the movie, and I don't think it was in there. If it was, I missed it. And uh, it's good, because I'm kind of sick of that movie. Um, overall, I like the pacing of this movie. It's a nice, you know, hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, I think, movie, which is great to see. And I think it really worked. Uh, it worked for kids. The kids in the audience seemed to really like it and think it was funny. But I think it's also one of those kids' movies that works for adults. Like, the humor in there's not adult humor necessarily but it's it's jokes that i think adults would get like there's a joke in there about um they're trying to hack into some government satellites and the uh, wolf goes well you're the mayor can't you just uh you know do that automatically and she goes yeah there's too much paperwork like jokes like that that i think you know parents would like as far as what i disliked about it the movie is pretty pre predictable like it, it's pretty uh, obvious to to guess sort of where it's going who's the good guys who's the bad guys and even the twists which there are many twists in this movie but I thought it was pretty easy to predict where they were going to come from. Um, and there is sort of this uh, thing where the main characters are bad guys, or I'm sorry, are animals. <laughs> the bad guys are animals. And the mayor is an animal. And the um, there's this sort of guinea pig character who, again, this is a spoiler review, but um, who seems to be a good guy, but turns out to be a bad guy. They're all animals. But then, like, there's humans in here, too. So it is sort of weird when you have these, like, Zootopia is all anthropomorphic animals, but there's no people in there. Whereas this one, there are people... They seem to be mostly cops and reporters. Um, and then there's also animals. But then there's also, like, uh, guinea pigs that are being experimented on. But there's also a guinea pig who is, uh, you know, anthropomorphic. So there's a little bit of that, I think. And if you can kind of ignore that and, and sort of shut that part of your brain off, then um, I think overall the movie is pretty good. So other than that, uh, the movie is directed by Pierre Parafel. Uh, this is his first feature movie, but he worked on Kung Fu Panda series, I think all three of those movies, and the Aliens vs. Monster movie. Um, and it's written by Eaton, Eaton Cohen, who is not uh, Ethan Cohen from the Cohen Brothers, but he is the guy who uh, wrote and directed Holmes and Watson and Get Hard, which um, I actually didn't mind Get Hard. I don't, if I saw Holmes and Watson, I'm sure it was bad. Uh, but he also wrote, uh, co-wrote Idiocracy and Tropic Thunder, which I really like both. I love Idiocracy, actually. So, um, yeah. Uh, Yanni Brenner also gets a, a, a co-writing credit on this, and I believe they worked on uh, some of the Ice Age movies, 3, 4, 5, and some of these kind of scratch, uh, look like made-for-TV stuff, and uh, also uh, Rio 2. Uh, they're based on books by Aaron Blabby, 
um, which I actually just saw these on the shelf uh, the other day. I was looking for some books for my niece. And uh, yeah, it's apparently a pretty popular book series and they have a lot of fans. There's a lot of kids who like them. So I'm sure they'd be excited to see this adaptation. Um, one of the voices that I didn't mention earlier is the voice of the snake, which is Mark Marin. Uh, the reason I didn't mention is because I couldn't figure out who it was. Uh, whenever I watch one of these animated movies where there's a lot of like Hollywood actors in the leads, I'm sitting there going, okay, I know that's Sam Rockwell's voice. And it takes me a minute. I go, okay, that's Aquafina. Okay, that's Craig Robinson. You know, I could not for the life of me figure out who Mark Marin was. Um, I thought at first I was thinking like Danny DeVito. And then I was thinking maybe like Johnny Knoxville or something. And then finally they show the credits. And I'm like, I actually couldn't figure out Richard Aote either, who I love Richard Aote. I know his voice very well. It was one of those where I'm like, I know this voice and I can't quite place it. And then finally they say to him, of course, of course it's Richard Aote. Um, other than that, uh, Anthony Ramos is also in here. He plays Piranha. I didn't recognize his voice because I don't think I've ever seen anything that he's done before. Um, but it looks like he's mostly known for In the Heights and uh, Hamilton. So he works with Lynn manuel Miranda, and I mean, he does his own singing in the movie, and he's got a good voice. He's a good singer, and I like the song that they did, so good for him. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, Hispanic representation is important. They are underrepresented in movies, so it's always good to see one in a, in a major role, although this one is kind of a stereotype, but it's a kid's cartoon, so I don't know. Um, one thing about the movie is there's, and they show fairly early on, there's this sort of cartoon physics and logic to the movie. So, you know, you know that characters probably aren't going to die when things happen to them. You know, they can be eaten by another character, they can fall from great heights, and it, like a cartoon, they're going to be fine in the next scene. That being said, there's some things that just don't make sense, you know. Uh, at, toward the end of the movie, they get attacked by these guinea pigs that can somehow move faster than a car that's going like 80 miles an hour. That doesn't make any sense, but uh, again, it's a cartoon. So I feel like I don't want to uh, harp on that kind of stuff, which I normally would in a normal, in a live action movie. But in this case, it's a kid's cartoon. They sort of established that um, cartoon logic and cartoon physics apply here. So for that case, I'm not going to really uh, mark them down for that. Uh, this is made by DreamWorks, uh, distributed by Universal. And I think it's just always good to see a movie that's not made by Disney or Pixar, which I have nothing against Disney or Pixar, but it's nice to see other movies out there, other cartoon animated movies for kids. Um, so for me, I really like this movie. I thought it was really funny and uh, I really liked the theme in it. In a lot of ways, I think this could very well be a uh, sort of cult classic or something that, you know, 10, 15 years from now, people go, oh, wow, that was a really great movie. Um, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I really like this movie. I think it's great for kids and I think adults would like it as well. So if you saw the movie, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We have a great night and I will see you here again next week.